Algorand, is it the future of cryptocurrencies as we know it, or is it kind of academic fluff? That is the main question that I wanted the answer to while digging into all things Algorand. Now, I know many of you have requested I do a deep dive on this crypto specifically, as it seems to be getting more and more popular in the recent past. So in this video, we're going to cover everything you need to know from an overview on how this thing started, who started it, the, the brainiac who started this thing, what its goals are, what its current partnerships are, what its pros and cons are. That way, after this video, you should have a better idea as to whether you wanna dig a little bit further on this, look at it as a potential investment. Of course, none of this is investment advice. Do your own due diligence always always do your own due diligence. Just look at this as a starting point to look further into this cryptocurrency. So without further ado, in order to help explain this, of course, I have built an all-inclusive flowchart, except this time it's a little bit different because Poppy's, Poppy's spent a couple dollars. I got some Patreon money coming in. Thank you to all my, all my patrons. If you wanna join the Patreon, go ahead and do that link down in the description. You get all sorts of advantages from joining that. Feel free to check that out. But I went ahead and spent $4 on a membership to a new flowchart subscription service. Now this might be the best idea I ever had or might be the worst idea I ever had because this has taken me forever to build what we have here in front of us. And uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a little bit chaotic. So let's just go ahead and jump in. You'll, you'll see what I mean as we go through this. So starting off, Algorand, all things Algorand. <laughs> so we're gonna do a, a brief history of Elgo and Algorand. Elgo is the native token for the Algorand ecosystem. So it was founded in 2017 by Silvio Bicali, and its main net went live in 2019. Here, here's where we can see I found out how to make one of these, these pre-made arrows, but then I couldn't figure out how to fill it with a color. This is, this is a learning process. So <laughs> this is just one more reason to subscribe to the channel because you'll see me get better at using this software, hopefully, hopefully, which with each and every video, and I'll figure out how to do little things like that. I spend way too much time even just building this as is. So here's Silvio himself, his, uh, his smiling face, and here are some of his credentials. He's an Italian computer scientist at MIT's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Lab. He's a professor at MIT in electrical engineering, and he won the Turing Award for, quote, his fundamental contribution to the theory and practice of secure two-party computation, electronic cash, cryptocurrencies, and blockchain protocols. He is an expert and kind of a celebrity in the cryptocurrency uh, community. He is very well known in this area. So what is Algorand? Let's dive right in here. It is a proof of stake protocol. I've decided I'm gonna try and just fit at least one stake emoji in every single video <laughs> that I do on cryptos, but uh, supports a variety of different applications. It's more of a general purpose cryptocurrency, more like a Cardano or an ADA or a Polkadot where they're more general use. There's, there's lots of different apps that can be built on their platform. It provides a platform for tokens, NFTs, stable coins, finance tools, and a very, very cost effective payment infrastructure that we're gonna to touch on later in this video. And then moving on from here, I'm not sure what this was, if it's Lowe's, I'm not sure what that guy is, but I just thought it was kind of interesting, so we'll just go ahead and throw him in the flow chart here. We've got some issues here with loading. Okay, Algorand's mission is directly from them. Global trust through de decentralization, simple designs that drive adoptions by, by billions of people, and elegant technology that eliminates barriers to prosperity for all. Okay, moving on from here, we're gonna do a quick breakdown on what is proof of stake versus proof of work. So first, starting with proof of work, this is the more classic consensus mechanism for cryptocurrency. So it's the traditional mechanism for blockchain tech. Transactions are verified by miners whose computers work hard to solve complicated math problems. They're called hash problems in order to earn the right to update the public ledger. So they compete on these hash problems. The winner gets the right to update the ledger and then they are paid for updating the ledger. More computing power, means more problems solved, and that means more money paid to you. The hard work aspect is good in that you can't efficiently be a bad actor because there's so much that needs to go into to facilitating the system. It's really not worth being a bad guy because it'd just be simply too expensive. But it's bad in that the hard work 
The fact that it takes hard work is not very efficient and there are environmental concerns because of that and there, there are simply better ways to do it. The more we've learned, there, we've realized there's better ways. And here's one of the better ways, that is proof of stake. Proof of stake coins validate their public ledger, which is basically just, you can just think of this as a list of all the transactions. If I send you $5, it's on that public ledger. Everyone can see that I sent you $5. So it creates new blocks not by those who solve problems through mining, but instead done at random by coin holders who lock up and stake their cryptocurrency. Then staking rewards are paid out proportional to how many coins you hold. So if I have one coin and I'm staking it, and you have 10 coins and you're staking it, you have a 10 times likelihood that any given transaction will be processed by you. It's proportional to how many coins you hold and how many you're staking. Some say that this is more decentralized because mining is commonly done in bulk. So because uh, there's some economies of scale with mining, you see certain facilities controlling a ton of the transactions. And then there's an argument to be made that staking is slightly more decentralized because it's just simply easier to do. Also, it's far more energy efficient. I saw an interview with Vitalik Buterin who founded Ethereum and he said that it's about 100 times more efficient than mining. And some of the coins include ADA, EOS, TRX, and many, many more. Those are just some of the, the, the larger ones. And um, moving on from here, back to Algorand after our little uh, proof of stake, proof of work um, 101. And we can see here, this is when I realized I haven't figured out how to center text yet because that really bugs me that the stop is not centered. Well, that's also on my to-do list on how to learn on this, this program. Stop and show me that TPS report. How many transactions per second are we talking? Show me. Hi, Peter. What's happening? We need to talk about your TPS reports. Okay, so Algorand, is very fast and very efficient with current speeds of 1,000 transactions per second and has a 45 second confirmation time and transaction fees of less than a penny, less than one penny per transaction. We can compare this to Ethereum's confirmation time of about five minutes and transaction fees that can be several dollars, sometimes more. We, a, a big complaint with Ethereum is the gas fees and how expensive it is. However, this is something that they're working on fixing with their Ethereum 2.0 proof of stake version of Ethereum and hopefully will be fixed in the long run. All right, moving on from here, we got a big swirly arrow. arrow. How does it work? How does Algorand work? So it has a two layer approach. Layer one, ASC1, is used for processing token transactions, simple smart contracts that don't require real world information. Transactions that can just be done on the blockchain, doesn't need anything from the outside world, and processes that don't require much time to execute, ex 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 execute are done right on the blockchain. Examples here are trading cryptocurrencies. That's a, that's a simple contract and crowdfunding, also a very simple contract. Elgrand uses a universal architecture in this layer written in their own programming language, Teal, T-E-A-L, Transaction Execution Approval Language. And then they have a layer two, which is their off-chain processing. Now, we're gonna see, if you're, if you're diving into cryptocurrency, you're gonna see a lot more and hear a lot more about layers within it. And this is a very smart way to make the blockchain more efficient and make it faster. So layer two off-chain is used to process more complex smart contracts that need off-chain data and take longer to complete. The work is done off-chain and then once the process is done, the public ledger is updated with the results and that's what actually gets put on the blockchain forever. And then, uh, oh yeah, <laughs> I'm glad I wrote this. Tell them about the boss example. This was a note to self. Okay, here's my example of, of the layer two. So, so you can think of layer two like this. Let's say your boss asks you to do something and, and this, this, end, this end goal has 10 different steps to it. So you get to work, you start, you know, start with step one and you have to go through step 10 in order to finish this process. There's two ways you could do this. You could tell your boss once you're completely done with all steps, you're done with the project, or you could tell your boss every single step of the way. Step one, two, three, four, five, you tell them every step of the way, hey, I'm done with this step. They both have the same end result, but the one where you're telling your boss of each step of the way, you're just kind of wasting both of your time telling him all 10 steps when you could just tell him when the thing is done. So you can, that's how you can think of the layer two, layer one. Um, on layer two, it does all the steps. It just tells layer one, hey, the thing is done. So that's just one way to think of it.
All right, here's some applications with Algorand. So the platform is very general. However, Macaulay has made it clear that their main goal is still decentralized finance. It's, they're, they're really focused on DeFi and perfecting a self-sustaining network for Elgo, their native cryptocurrency. So Elgo is what you would buy if you're interested in this ecosystem. So here's some possible use cases, of course, DeFi, asset creations like NFTs, digital securities and asset management, identity management, decentralized organizations and voting, supply chain, internet of things, and product verification are all things that could be done on this blockchain. Here are some partnerships that they already have. They have a partnership with Medgold to bring tokenized gold and silver to the blockchain. They're partnered with an Italian copyright agency, SIAE, to place copyright info on the blockchain, which is a great use for blockchains because it's immutable, it's verifiable, right on the blockchain. That's a great use for blockchains in general. And they also have a partnership with Vest Equity to allow individuals to purchase shares of real estate on the blockchain. That's just a few of their partnerships. If you're interested in more of them, go ahead and check that out on their website. They are pretty low key about their partnerships. That's what I have, oh no, this, this didn't, this didn't uh, format right. <laughs> I just wrote that they're pretty low key about their partnerships and they kind of, I've kind of noticed that they have some big D energy. They got some big D energy because they don't really seem to talk about themselves much. There's not much marketing, but they have a bunch of partnerships. It seems like they have a lot going for themselves, but they're like low key about it, B, big D, BDE. So here's some risks. So there are some concerns with with the initial coin holders, the people who receive their coins first and the, the fact, uh-oh. And we're gonna have to go quick. And the fact that they're driving down the Elgo price by selling off their positions when the coin increases in price. So there's some concerns there with certain coin holders. There's also, there's also concerns that the pool Algorand uses to pay out stakeholders will run out. And then it's not clear what system they're going to follow in the future if transaction fees aren't enough to re reward those who are staking coins. So right now they are using uh, coins that aren't in circulation to pay those who are staking their coins to process transactions. But once that runs out, because there's a fixed supply and the transaction fees are so low, there's a concern like what's going to happen after that. And then number three, there's complaints on online forums talking of fr frustration about the Algorand's team and their responsiveness and their transparency about the project. Now, you know, take that with a grain of salt. That's kind of like a Yelp review. Some people are crazy, some people aren't, but that's just something that we noticed on the actual forums online. Now, if you are interested in Elgorand and buying the Elgo token, you can buy it on many different exchanges. The one that I use for pretty much all my crypto transactions is KuCoin. I have that link down in the description. If you use that link, you'll actually save some money on your trading fees. Plus they have tons of coins. They have like 220 different cryptos that you can invest in there. They allow for lending, staking, tons of exciting stuff going on there. So check that out link down in the description so that's going to do it for everything you need to know about algorand if you appreciate this video make sure you like and subscribe also if you are interested in more in-depth breakdowns like this i've done like 10 of them on various huge cryptocurrencies so check out my channel because there is a whole lot more where this came from so i'd like to thank you for watching and i hope you have a profitable day